there. Let's go and do a speed comparison between these two phones. The iPhone 10 has that Apple 11 Bionic chip inside of it with 3 gigabytes of RAM, where the iPhone 11 has that Apple A13 Bionic chip inside of it with 4 gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see which one is the faster phone between both of these. Okay, now that we're back, all the apps are cleared out in the background as you guys can see, except for that one. Let's go and start loading these things up. Let's do phone calls. 3, 2, 1. And about the same, not a big difference. Music, 3, 2, 1. And again, about the same too. I guess the iPhone 11 did take a, like a split second to open that one up a little bit more. App stores, 3, 2, 1. And okay, the iPhone 11 was for sure the faster one. iPhone 10, again, I think we're having some network problems. We've all, I don't know what the iPhone 10 is doing. It's like every single time I try to shoot a video, it ends up happening. It's like a little bit slower. Let's go ahead and do, I guess like clock or something, 3, 2, 1. And about the same on two. And even hopping out, you can see they kind of have the same thing going on here. There's not a big difference by any means. Now, I guess we can go and get to the third-party apps. It's going to be a little confusing on this device, but let's just get into it. Snake versus Blocks, 3, 2, 1. And you can see the iPhone 11 is the faster one there. Getting into some gameplay. I think that's going to be about the same in terms of the gameplay. I don't think there's going to be a big difference, but we can go ahead and see. You can see it's about the same thing. Let's go and hop out of this one. Let's do Instagram, three, two, one. And definitely the iPhone 11 was the faster one. You can see the iPhone 10 again, getting into some random issue. I don't know what's going on there. Facebook, three, two, one. I think the iPhone 10 slightly faster. Fruit Ninja, three, two, one. We might get into another network problem here too. So we're just kind of address it as we see it. And iPhone 11 does seem to be faster. iPhone 10 a little bit slower, for sure. And this could be because of the network issue. Again, I guess we did get into the network issue. But the iPhone 11, I would still say, is probably the faster one there. Let's go and do Twitter. 3, 2, 1. iPhone 11 faster. iPhone 10 a little bit behind. And I think that's at least most of the apps. I mean, I would have tried a couple of more. But you can see it's a little bit scattered and all over the place. We can go and try Temple Run 2. 3, 2, 1. And you can see the iPhone 11 is pretty fast. You know, it's, I think, faster overall than the iPhone 10, as you guys can see. Again, a little network issue. I don't know why it keeps becoming annoying. Let's get into some gameplay between these two. And we'll probably see that the gameplay is about the same. I really don't think we're going to see that big of a difference. I think it did glitch up a little bit on the iPhone 11 right there. But, yeah, they, they're both giving me kind of the same vibe here. So I don't really think there's a big difference there. Hopping out of this one, as always, I guess we have to go ahead and do thank you. I mean, that's just a like classic three, two, one. And I totally screwed it up, but we'll just load it in the background for the RAM management portion. Let's do stack three, two, one. And it's so funny because I just hyped that app up and it literally didn't even open. And you can see again, iPhone 11 is the faster one. iPhone 10 taking its time, no problem there. But I think it's because of the network issue, but you can't see the X up there. So it did try loading up an app. So that really pretty much covers it up in terms of speed comparison standpoint. I think ultimately the iPhone 11 is probably the faster device. I guess because the iPhone 10 is experiencing these type of weird network issues, there's really no way to actually, you know, verify it, I guess. But I can definitely tell you the iPhone 11 is going to not only be better in terms of speed app, you know, app opening, but you're also going to be getting much better RAM management speeds on the iPhone 11 as well. But I'm actually pretty surprised about the iPhone 10. It's two years older or at least like a year or something old, but it's not, it doesn't really give me that vibe. You know, I feel like these two phones are more closer than not. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up.